The anticipation is building and it has erupted as Alabama, the 1991 version of the Crimson Tide, have arrived on the Legion Field. Over 80,000 on hand, that's 8,000 more than last year and in previous campaigns because of the refurbishment that has gone on here. New press box, new sky boxes, a new electronic scoreboard. It really is a exciting atmosphere here at Legion Field today. There's the 1990 review. And Ricky, remember last year that awful start? We were here for the opener, and that got Alabama off to that 0-3 beginning. It really did, Doug. And as we look back over those first three games that Alabama lost last year, they lost some key people along the way, Saran Stacy being one, Craig Sanderson, and Prince Wembley also. And that brings to mind Craig Sanderson tore up that same knee just the other day in practice. Well, here come the Temple Owls, the boys from Philadelphia, the most improved team in college football a year ago. Jerry Burns' team was 7-4. In 1989, they suffered through a 1-10 in season, but they are on their way back. This is the first year they have belonged to the Big East Conference. And there's a good look at Jerry Burnt, who says one of his all-time favorite coaching idols is Bear Bryant. He has read everything Coach Bryant ever wrote. There's a good look at Trent Thompson, an All-American preseason pick at punter for Temple. He's also their backup quarterback, but this kid can boot the ball. And he lets one fly is David Palmer, the freshman from Jackson Owen High School here in Birmingham, fields it at his seven. He breaks it up the middle and runs into his own man where he's dropped at about the 24. Second down and 12. Danny Woodson with Saran Stacy behind him. Will get brought down for a loss at his 15-yard line. That's James Harris, the big 6'8 linebacker. Let's see what he can do now. Woodson straight back. And he's going for the goal. The scramble, and it looks like he's going to go for it all. Could Woodson break it? It looks like he will. The senior from Mobile is going to go all the way. And the tide is up 6 0. Well, there you have it. Woodson scoring on a broken play. That's, that's what they like about Woodson, his ability to run, and he turns it into a touchdown. Second down and eight. The ball on the 29. Richardson again seems to be audibleizing at the line. And it's again, this is the fullback, Swanson, brought down for no gain. Steve Wilm on the tackle. Like there's a fumble, Doug, and fumble. Alabama's recovered it. Kevin Turner and Saran Stacy. This is Stacy going through another fairly big hole. Gains five. Martin Houston and Kevin Turner, the two fullbacks, are in the ball game. And Martin Houston goes over the right side for a first down. Second down and seven for a touchdown. Five minutes to play. The tide already up. Seven nothing. Warren in motion. The pitch goes to Stacy, who has a huge hole. He cuts it back for his first touchdown of the year. And Stacy looked a lot like Saran of 1989. He sure did. Just a little toss. Alabama ran out there to the right. They walled off that defense, and the hole was could have driven a truck through it. So we get our second look at their big foot, Trent Thompson. And our second look at Palmer. And our second look at David Palmer. For the folks around the state who never saw this young man play in high school, what a treat. Played all his home games right here at Legion Field on this turf. Line drive. Not a nice punt at all. We brag about the guy and he lets us down. David Palmer goes left, comes back right, and look at the kill maneuver. Kevin Turner, Saran Stacy line up behind Danny Woodson. Finkley and Lee are the wideouts. This is Saran Stacy cutting back. Little juke step, falls forward for a gain of four. Alabama takes over on the 46. Woodson, there's the fake and the reverse to David Palmer, who finds a seam, cuts back, brought down at the 34-yard line, and Alabama first down. 14 and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Saran Stacy lines up behind Kevin Turner. And Saran takes the pitch, goes wide, shows some speed. Nice hit 
Third down and four. Alabama on the 28. Woodson back to pass. Has a man open. It's complete. Donnie Finkley grabs it for a first down, depending on the mark. Martin Houston in at fullback, replacing Kevin Turner. Saran Stacy the tailback. Houston the lead blocker. Saran cuts back. And he gets close to the first down, not quite, maybe a yard short, stays in bounds. Kevin Turner back in along with Martin Houston. This is their short yardage offense, and Martin Houston, as he always does, just rams forward for another first down. Second down and six. They can still get a first down without scoring. Woodson to Saran Stacy, who gets bottled up and squirts outside for the touchdown. Wow. Saran just found an opening, and he is quick. Talk about a 100% recovery from a knee injury. It looks like he has come full circle. Matt Wethington trying to make it three out of three as we have a blowout on our hands. At least it seems that way early on. It's 21-0, and Temple has shown us an inability. That's no good. Well, I jumped the gun, and Matt Wethington misses. Tank Williamson will punt. Tony Schmitz. Jamie Mikowski deep for Temple. Tank didn't hit that real solid. A fair catch by Jamie Mikowski at the Temple 34-yard line. Wilbur Washington wide right for Temple. In fact, they have three people on the right side. Richardson looks left to Conrad Swanson, and he has some open room. Is he going to be fast enough? No, he gets knocked out of bounds at the 20, at the 19-yard line by Mark McMillan. But there's the fullback, Swanson, who we told you earlier is a very good pass receiver. Second down and 10. No gain on that last play by McNair. Here's Richardson rolling right. And he is brought down by Eric Curry, but it looks like he might have grabbed the face mask. Third and goal. McNair. Incomplete in the end zone. Richardson threw it too hard. Mike Knuth is the kicker for Temple. He'll try to get him on the board. He wears number 10, 5'11", 180-pound junior from South Dakota. And the junior from Dakota makes it 20-3. And Saran again cuts to the outside, gets close to the first down. He'll be brought down about a yard short. Gene Stallings was quoted as saying, Santos Stevens on the tackle, Coach Stallings was quoted as saying, Saran Stacy is the most talented running back I've ever coached. That's the end of the first half with Alabama leading it 20-3. Gene Stallings in much better shape than he was a year ago in his opener against Southern Mississippi. Here comes Mr. Thompson, Trent Thompson. Hasn't shown us much. A lot of height so far. A lot of line drives. This one a short punt, relatively short. David Palmer at his own 49, and he goes the wrong way. Hey, David, you got to go forward, not backwards. Fielded it at the 49 and winds up on the 42. Danny Woodson tries to be sensational, twirls around, and throws to the man of the hour, David Palmer. Nice move to the outside. First down, David Palmer. Tony Schmitz made the tackle there. Saran Stacey then comes back to the left side. Gain of about five. They're just hammering away on that left side. Second and five. Ball on the 32-yard line. Warren in motion. Flip back to number 27. Saran Stacey, who battles his way toward the first down marker. I think they're going to mark it just about a half a yard short. Toby Shields is the center. He's a sophomore. George Wilson is a junior at guard. William Barger is a sophomore at right guard. John Stevenson, a true freshman at right tackle. He's backed up by Roosevelt Patterson, a sophomore. Matt Hammond, a sophomore left tackle. Danny Woodson falls forward for what looks like an Alabama first down. Alfonso Taylor, the 340-pound nose guard, is checked back in for Temple. He's head up on Toby Shields. Eight minutes to play now in the third quarter. First and ten, halfback pass, Sirhan Stacy. Touchdown, Alabama. Chris Wembley. 
Unbelievable reception there. Sirhan Stacy, the man with the injured knee last year, throws to Prince Wembley, who had a knee injury himself. That was the rehab touchdown. <laughs> Trent Thompson, the punter. There's a line shot off the side of his foot. David Palmer fields at the 24. He just wants to touch the football, and he gets brought down right away. Maybe you should have let that one go, huh? Well, Holland, the injured uh, player for uh, Temple, is being wheeled off the sidelines, and Alabama wheels with a reverse. David Palmer takes the handoff from Saran Stacy, goes all the way up to the 45-yard line, and the freshman is disappointed he didn't go farther. Second down and five, right on the 50-yard line. Martin Houston fumbles, and Temple recovers. On the 50-yard line, the Owls have good field position for the first time in the second half. That penetration by Copeland is just really what's devastated their offensive line. Richardson was raw meat in the middle of that sandwich, and there's another shank, if you will. It doesn't look pretty, but it's effective. It pins Alabama down inside the 10-yard line. 27-3. Three, 21 to play here in the third quarter, and Danny Woodson, calm as can be, as if he's done this for a long time, playing. Uh-oh. Don't make me look bad, Danny, as he gets sacked on the three-yard line. Danny Woodson back to pass. Third and 16. Looks down the middle, and it's intercepted. Temple brings it back. To the 24-yard line, flag on the play. We'll see what the flag is all about. That's Keita Crispina with the interception. Let's listen. Flipping on the return. The first down. Again, this is a split officiating crew, as you heard us talk about at halftime. Big East officials along with Southeastern Conference officials. 1.46 to play. Third quarter, Anthony Richards back to pass. Richardson. And it's intercepted by Alabama. George Teague brings it back, and he has us some room to the 20. High stepping it to the 25-yard line. Alabama's defense answers Temple with a big interception. Second down and four. Nice effort from Derek Lassick. Martin Houston, the fullback. Martin pounds up the middle for a first down. Scott, wipe that smile off your face. He's having too much fun. Yeah, who, who is Debbie anyway? Danny Woodson completes a pass to Prince Wembley over the middle. Again, uh, 10 seniors over there, and they haven't given up. They've really gotten after the Alabama offense. It's been a good matchup, uh, those seniors against Alabama's young line. Derek Lassick with a big hole up the middle, close to a first down. Chris Anderson, only about 5'9", and that ball landed right up uh, near his neck, up in his shoulder pads. Danny, not with a very good fake there. Things are getting a bit sloppy. And a, and a completed pass and a touchdown. Hey, it's sloppy, but it works. Rick Brown on the receiving end of a touchdown. What can you say? It's better to be lucky, right? <laughs> There's the chant. Hey, there those guys are. They're on every telecast Alabama never has. These guys with the tie boxes and the toilet paper. <laughs> Fielded at the 14. Temple finds a hole up the middle and a fumble. Pounced on immediately by Leslie Shepard. Sam Jenkins had a lane. He's been doing that the entire game. Coughed it up, but Shepard, Johnny on the spot. Temple to the ground. Todd McNair gets close to a first down. It appears that Temple is starting to wave the white flag as they're running the ball up the middle down 34 to 3. Looks like uh, 1991 will start off on a better note for Gene Stallings. There's McNair. Breaking a tackle, another tackle, running over Antonio Langham, who won't let him go. Third and 11. 
Richardson with the draw. McNair. Bruce McNair. He's about nine. John Sullins finally wrestles him down. Big play, that 80 yard. Beautiful play. The offensive line has, has performed well. And McNair is performing much better now against some of the younger players for Alabama. Antonio Langham brings him down. Richardson back to pass. Third down. Intercepted by John Sullins. Great play there by Sullins. Four and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Chris Anderson takes it in the end zone. Finds a big gaping hole, breaks free. Hey, he's fast. He might and he will go all the way for a touchdown. Chris Anderson sees daylight. Anderson is in the end zone. Great play there. Great blocking up front. 96-yard touchdown. We'll need to check and see. That might be the longest touchdown run in Alabama history. Let's take a look at the, the record book and just see where that, that ranks. And one thing he may be thinking about already, and I'm sure he probably is, is thinking about that trip down to Gainesville next week. Alabama travels to Gainesville. The Gators' big winners over San Jose State today in their opener. Temple moves on to Pittsburgh to play at Pitt. Under 30 seconds to play. Thompson will scramble. Gets hit hard. By Michael Rogers, a freshman from Laverne. A lot of freshmen. They really are. Alabama had a great, great recruiting class last year. A lot of those guys getting in and playing, getting a lot of playing time today. It's in the book. Alabama, a 41-3 winner over Temple in the 1991 season opener. Things start off better for Gene Stallings in 1991 compared to 1990 when he lost to Southern Miss 27-24.